All right, guys, so this should be a video coming in the future. Uh, I just met Tyrell, right, today, and uh, I actually came here to sell him an amplifier, and we, I came and I actually helped him troubleshoot his entire car stereo. He had this uh, little small, uh, it's a, it says it's a 1200 watt energy battery, but we already uh, discussed this before because that's the same battery that Caleb had, and it's like a 15 AH battery, and it's not good enough to run, I mean, it's good enough to run a small amplifier, and that's about it, which you shouldn't even have to put a small amplifier onto a battery. Um, but that battery right there, that was the first thing I troubleshot, it was sitting at 9 volts. So, which means that it wasn't getting power from somewhere, or it was just drained and had no more life in it. Or it didn't have any more, uh, it wasn't charging. Uh, so he has the uh, Soundstream Tarantula TXP1.65. Uh, that's, and I actually came here to sell him the 35. He was going to buy the same amplifier, just the 3500 instead of the 6500, because he thought he blew that amp. And I'm hoping at this point now that I helped him troubleshoot everything and it was just the battery that he was having a problem with. Hope. And uh, now the other problem we just had was he had a remote source coming from the battery, I believe it was coming from, and the, it was plugged into, a, you have an LOC in there? Yep. A lock? So he has an LOC, it's under the, the back dash there. And uh, that's where his remote was coming from. And we plugged in all this stuff, and he thought that the remote was had power, and it didn't have power. So that was the problem the whole time, is we think that that was the problem the whole time. So now he's replugging everything in, and hoping that this time that he gets power, it comes back on. I would have loved to get the kicker CRV or CVR working. He's got a 15 inch in here, but he promised me that he'll swing back around and we'll get another video at some point in time. This is a, a Lexus LS460. LS and that's what we're working with today. Uh, the factory amp alternator is a 180 amp alternator. So should be plenty to run. He's got zero gauge from the battery back here. Uh, Zero gauge ground. Uh, let's see what else. I wish I had more information for you. Um, but that's pretty much it. So I'm hoping I troubleshot him. Maybe he can shoot me a short video through Facebook once he gets it wired up and plugged in. And I'll share that video with you guys. All right. So for now, guys, as always, take care of yourselves and each other. Peace.